Hello and welcome. My name is Alfred and today I will show you how to get Theme Hospital for absolutely free. Disclaimer, you need to have had the game in the past. Let's get started. We will be going to two different websites for this tutorial. The first one being themehospital.co.uk. Here you can find some information about the game, as well as a link to a Facebook page centered around the game. Down here, you can find some screenshots from the game, and you will also find information about the open source project that we will use to be able to run the game on newer PCs due to the age of the game. There is an official sequel to Theme Hospital, released in 2018, but personally, the overall feel of the original can't be beaten. Onto the download itself, click on the button named Downloads. This brings us to this page. I'm unsure whether or not you need to do these steps down here. I haven't needed to do those myself. Perhaps because of Corsix. If you want to try or need to, you can find the patch below the text. I want to reiterate, you NEED to have had the game in the past. Moving on, we want the Windows 10 version. This also works for Windows 11 by the way. Let's head on over to the second website, core6.com. I'll have all of these links in the description below by the way. Click on the button that says download and you should be good to go. As you can tell, this is still actively worked on. When you've downloaded the files, make sure that you've installed the game correctly before you run Core 6. When you've gone through the instructions and launched Core 6, you'll be met by this screen. Those of you who remember playing in the past might have noticed that this is different compared to launching without Core 6. One of the things that Core 6 brings is a map editor, where you can make your own maps to play on. You'll find the usual buttons for original campaign and yes, you can make custom ones if you want as well. Moving on, you have buttons for if you want to play a specific scenario, continuing and loading saves, and a button for settings. The settings menu is the dominant reason why I recommend using Core 6. It has a bunch of features like shown. Down here to the right you can find some tips you might find useful. And there we have it! Works great! You can find a menu at the top here if you want to change settings on the fly. Thank you so much for watching! Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one!